Hi guys, my name is Gustav Fick. I'm a geospatial application engineer at Optron and welcome to my Trimble X7 demonstration where I will show you just how simple, smart and professional the Trimble X7 really is. So let's get started. On your T10 tablet that comes with the Trimble X7 uh, scanner, in the Trimble Perspective software we'll go and create a new project. So for this demonstration I'm just going to call it Demo 1. You can now go take a picture that you can now link to your project and create your project. Project is now created. So now we can start with the scan settings. So under this, before you can start the scan, you need to tell the software what it is that you, how long do you want to do your scans for. So for example, you've got a 2, 4, 7 and 15 minute selection, time selection. So for example, if we select 4 minutes, in standard mode, you'll also notice that there's a high sensitivity that is only um, uh, available from 4, 7 and 15 minutes. The high sensitivity is basically if you want to scan or capture difficult objects that's black and shiny at a far distance, then you'll sele select a high sensitivity option. It's basically going to slow the scanner down to be able to capture the points that are um, on those uh, difficult objects. Okay, so the number of uh, points that you can expect is about 58 million points. The spacing at 10 meters is approximately 5 millimeters. So for the demonstration, I'm going to select the two minute option, standard mode. So the expected number of points is approximately 12 million points. The spacing at 10 meters is approximately 11 millimeters. I'm going to switch on my images and for white balance I'm going to select cloudy. You'll notice that there's a couple of options to choose from. Cloudy fits the environment best today. And then I'm going to start the scan. So you'll see there was the green light was on basically stating that or showing that the X7 is in standby mode. It, it's now in blue, uh, blue color. So basically what's happening now, the instrument is now auto calibrating itself. It's quite an impressive function on the X7. You don't need to send the X7 up for calibration anymore. So before each and every scan, the, the X7 will auto calibrate itself. So to make sure that your next scan is as good as your last scan. So you're definitely going to feel this benefit in your pocket. You all know how, the, uh, how expensive it is to send up your X7 or, uh, or any other 3D laser scanners, for instance. If you need to send it up for calibration, it's quite a costly exercise. But with the X7, it's not needed. Right, so on the screen, you'll now see that it's going to start scanning. Okay, so let's talk um, uh, uh, specs a little bit. So for instance, like I was mentioning, the most impressive function is basically that you don't need to send it up for calibration. Secondly, it, the X7 actually auto-levels itself. You'll notice that it's not really leveled, but it's not needed. So you can just plonk it down and then uh, the X7 will basically, during the auto-calibration function, then also auto-level itself. Right, it's got an IP rating of 55. Uh, it scans about 500,000 points per second. It comes with an, quite an impressive two-year standard warranty. And it's about 5.8 kgs in, in weight. Also, a very nice feature is that it comes with a handle. These days, a lot of the 3D laser scanners don't have handles. So it's very easy to just move it around. And you'll also notice uh, with the backpack, it's easy to uh, transport. So if you need to get on a flight with your X7, it's pretty easy to do so. Okay, right. Scanning is done. So it's now downloading the scan. In the Trimble Perspective map view, you'll notice that the point cloud will now build up, as you can see there. Right? And the X7 is now taking the images. So if I select the 3D view function, I can now go and I can pivot around my point cloud, as you can see on the screen. Okay. If you don't want to take the images, you can just switch the images off in the settings. Okay? And that will reduce the scan time with one minute. Okay, so if it's not needed, just switch it off. Okay. Right. So, the images is basically almost done. That's an indication that we can now proceed to station setup number two. Right.
discussion setup number two. You can just roughly level it. Like I said, it's not needed to level it. And then what you can also do, let's say you forgot your tablet at home, not a, uh, not, not a problem. You can now just go and you can click the power button once. It will now start scanning. So let's say you forgot your tablet. All the data will now be stored on your SD card. So there's a lot of flexibility and options with the X7. Okay, let's jump back to the, some of the other features within the perspective software. Right, on the, your right hand side you'll notice um, from the first, the top, the top right icon, the stations, all your stations will be listed in there. If you click on details, all the details of the station setup will be listed in there. So for example, the number of points is 5 million points, um, the number of images was 15, so all the information will be listed in there. All right, the second uh, feature is basically made to make annotations. So you can now go and you can pick on some important features that you want to uh, bring to somebody, um, your draft person, for instance, if you want to bring it to their attention so that they don't have to go and look around. Let's say, for example, you want to use targets. You can now go and you can identify where those targets are, give them names. So that's definitely going to speed up the office process if you want to, if you're interested in georeferencing the point cloud and it's not uh, your, uh, the, the guy or the surveyor that actually captured the points. If you, so now you can use, uh, make these annotations and somebody else that's going to take over the data can now use the annotations to just make the whole process a little bit easier. Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you how to make these annotations. So I can now go in my station based view, you'll automatically see the annotations can only be done in the station based view. I can now go for example, select the Optron banner. I now key in Optron banner, close this and create annotation. There's my annotation. Okay, and my annotation will be, um, you will be able to see it in all your different station setups. Okay, going back to my point cloud. You'll now notice that the second scan is now completed. Okay, and if I go back to my map view, you'll now see that it's now going to start with the auto registration process. So if I zoom in there a little bit, there you'll see it's now going to perform the auto registration to station one. Okay, while it's capturing the images. And as easy as that, the auto registration is now completed basically all right almost there okay done so the auto registration part is now completed if we jump back to the pivoting function in the 3d view we can now see yeah it looks quite good i'm happy with that all right indication now to proceed to station setup number three Again, I'm just going to roughly level it and then start the scan. Okay, let's continue with the features. So you can now go, jump back to your station based view and you can now, for instance, if you're interested to see what is the height of the pillar, you can now use the measurement tool and you can now zoom in to the feature of interest and you can do measurements while scanning. So there's a lot of options that you can now use within the measurement tool. So you never actually stuck and where you just have to wait for the scanner the whole time. All right. So that is the measurement tool. The notification toolbar will basically just show you step by step what you've done in your project. So as you can see, everything is listed in there. So I'm going to close the, noti uh, the notification toolbar and now I'm going to open up the elevation filter. So for to jump back to the point cloud. You can now go, for example, if you're only interested in the floor plan of your scan, you can now go and decide upon an, a certain elevation that's now going to be carried through throughout your whole project and you can lock it. So you can only keep this at, at that specific elevation. You're only going to see the point clouds at that specific elevation, as you can see on my screen just there. All right, I'm going to unlock it. I'm going to close the elevation filter. I'm basically almost done with my third scan. 
while we wait for it i'm just going to now jump to the right hand side just to ex ex explain that a little bit more for you guys so basically that's your 3d view in there if you want to jump out to your map view you just click on it so now currently that's your map view you also notice that it's nice and aligned to your the, to the grid spacings there so the perspective software auto aligns the the, the, the the point cloud for you all right the that's your basically your zoom extends function and then you've got your top view left view right view function there and then also some filters if you don't want to see the point cloud you can now just go and you can switch everything off there all right but i want to show you guys this so now my station setup number three is basically done it's going to auto register it to station number two but what you could have done before you started the scan you can actually um, state that it needs to register it to station number one for the uh, for, for example so but for now we're going to register station number three to station number two it's now done so again we're just going to quickly explore and see how it looks like the green the blue and the yellow point clouds of the three different uh, station setups let's say for example there was something wrong with your auto registration there's also a manual registration uh, uh, function where you can now just go back to your stations um, list and you can click on register and you'll notice that it shows the station three and station two is now registered but you can now go and you can break the link and you can swap to split view and select two common points in both station setups all right so you're going to select the two points and then the perspective software is going to manually register the two station setups okay quite simple and easy to do just make sure that you have enough overlap between your stations all right then lastly i'm basically happy with what i've got here the next and the last step is to finalize and export your project so select the refine project function so what it's going to do now it's going to refine the registration between the three station setups and then i'm going to export the project so take out your flash drive put in your flash drive in there specify that you want to save it on your on your flash drive it's i'm just going to call it demo one i'm going to replace the one that's already there and i'm going to finalize it so now it's going to finalize it's going to refine and finalize your project and export it and it's also going to give you a, a little report showing you just how good your registration setups were guys thank you for watching and i hope you're going to find this handy and um, please give us a call um, if you want a live demonstration uh, of the triple x7 thank you for watching